Well, this video is about Soul Decision. It was a Flash website that I did in 2003. Uh, no longer can we visit Flash websites. Really felt this one was a great use of uh, music, photography, and animation. Uh, very proud of this. Put a lot of time into it, a lot of effort. Won some cool awards for it. And at the end of the day, uh, missed it. So I wanted to bring it back. So I went into my archive and uh, reloaded it. And I'm using screen capture to give you a run through of what I built. Uh, let's go right into the website. It's full of bells and whistles and music. So hold on to your hats as we go. Let's click enter and go inside this thing. So right off the bat, you see a car, you see a street, you see all this amazing movement. Everything's moving, everything's, everything's alive. So I'm just gonna turn off the volume over here so we can actually hear myself talking. Uh, it's much better. Uh, so what we have here is three or four different layers of backgrounds and in a parallax you really want to get that sense of movement. So as you can see my mouse moving from left to right here you get a sense that everything's sort of at a different layer. Even the car is and if you stop you can see inside the car that's Trevor's girlfriend. You know she's fixing her makeup in the mirror. She's back and forth and if you happen to click the car it's, it's got some hydraulic shocks and you hit it again. Of course, you get a little homage to uh, one of Trevor's song, Cadillac Dress. In the background, you can see my mouse moving over here. You can see there's movement back there. There's another layer going on, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, lots of graffiti. All this photography I photographed myself and really wanted to create something that was brand new and different. And this street that um, Trevor and I were both dreaming about and it, it could exist and it was sort of a a little bit of every little street we ever can remember. This is the old steam clock from Vancouver. If you click it, you get Terrapai. He's the drummer. You can follow him around, and and he does his little he does his little uh, skateboard tricks there. He's a skater. Uh, if you continue to scroll over, there's a there's a theater here. Inside of this, we have some videos and stuff that uh, they were pr really proud about. It, a new video that they just launched, and sort of some behind the scenes stuff. Here's the entrance to the gallery. All these little uh, characters, which is the band members. There's Ken, Tino, Terrapai, and Trevor, of course. All split up into little, little pieces and animated on little tiny loops that sort of give us a sense that this street was actually alive. Uh, this was a phone booth, and if you click it, there's a message from Trevor, and he gives you a little rundown of uh, the website and some of the things to look out for and, and sort of a brief description of, of why you're here and the things that you'll find. Let's go inside the uh, the pub. Uh, so again, all this whole room was built out of little different pieces, little things that I found on the internet, things that I shot myself, or things that I had to create myself to actually create this environment. Um, if you click the band member, they play one of their songs and uh, they'll run through that. Throughout the room, uh, we called them Easter eggs. I'm pretty sure they're still called Easter eggs, but we wanted to have uh, everywhere you go over, you can do stuff. Here again, we're turning on the, uh, the beer taps, giving that sense of, you know, that there's something to do. There's the exit sign if you wanted to go outside. Um, these old sort of posters. Trevor was a big war buff, so he really wanted a lot, a lot of this Irish pub meets uh, World War II kind of uh, references. You click the gun, you get, you get a little exciting thing like that. You click Tino. I got some great recipes for you. Log in and check them out. Yeah, so you could log in and Tino was uploading res recipes. He's the bass player. He's also qu quite a good cook. There's Terrapai there flipping through the newspaper or through a magazine. If you click hey, his toe. Here. Ain't no news today. I'm going for a skate. Yeah, of course, you click his big toe when he starts to talk, but he's too busy. He's going to go for a skate. Uh, here's Trevor back here. This this went on to a, a little uh, dartboard game that we installed later. It wasn't on this version, but there was a, a dart game that I had found from a, a guy on the Internet who had created a really cool dart game. So that's what that did. So let's go back out on the street. Uh, anytime you come out on the street, it was on random, so there was a little bit of a different song playing. Uh, let's go into the gallery see some of the artworks. So this was a place that uh, later on turned to be more of a place you could find uh, works of art. Trevor did this song himself uh, for this website. We listen to him here for a second. This is your music of choice. Browsing, posters, pictures, works of art. So you turn that down. But yeah, so it was a place for them to put their photos and, and give some of the other artists that were submitting work 
to Trevor and the band a place to uh, sort of showcase the artwork and, and give it a sense of, um, you know, Trevor's a highly creative guy as well, and he really wanted to uh, t to show this because he's not just a musician, he's also a very good artist, he has a very good eye for art. Uh, let's go back out on, onto the street here. Um, another one of the songs. Click into the theater here. Now you can hear the steam clock going again. Uh, so here's the th here's the theater. Um, they really had this dream about being in the theater and being able to, to let themselves talk. Let's just turn the music down so we can hear them. But uh, if you click on Tino. Hey, you. That's right, you. I'm looking at you. I'm talking to you. Did you just click on my head? What's the matter with you? I hate when people click on my head. Yes. Hey, what's up? I'm Trevor Guthrie, the lead singer. Uh, just tell you a little bit about my musical background. Uh, age of three, I started playing piano. G'day, this is Tara Pie Richmond here. Um, lots of people call me the Pie Man or T Pie. Um, I'm the. So it gave us a chance to sort of learn about each one of the um, band members and let them talk freely about themselves. And again, we were trying to be as untraditional on this as possible and, and, and not do it normal. So it's kind of got this Monty Python meets uh, meet the band type thing. Up here was uh, two tickets giving us a chance to see the latest video. And gave us a chance to see more behind the scenes stuff. So really, really, uh, really fun place to be for them at the time. This is just before Trevor branched out and started his, his own band, but this was kind of the end of Soul Decision, and this website kind of was a cap to a great career from all of them. Yeah. Let's go back out onto the street again. We're going to this back alley uh, where we can feel... There's Mike. Uh, these three characters, uh, Trevor was really adamant that he wanted to incorporate some of the uh, fans. So these fans came in and did a photo shoot. I actually made this animation out of about four or five different photos and just sort of clipped them apart the best I could and did this walk sequence of them walking by using the legendary Polaroid camera to sort of capture them. In some of these photographs, you can see we just sort of made this environment. We made do with what we had. And that time, it was just an eclectic pile of pictures that we trimmed up and brought down and used the very best of the very best. I'm just going to turn this music off again here. And Mike here was... Hey, uh, how again. you doing? My name's Mike, and I'll be your sole decision information source. I just got my hands on some signed copies of the new... So anyways, you can see Mike. You can, uh, you know, buy the CD from here. And again, uh, just learn uh, learn more about the band. And there was also an interactive PDF that we had that was from that link. Well, oh, that's the that's the website. Uh, I really wanted to show that the beautiful things that you could have done in Flash back in the day. Now nowadays, everyone's doing things in Flash and exporting them as HTML5. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, look for the next one, which will be the rock video. So from this, we did a video which is really cool. It's just as cool as this. So thanks for tuning in.